So hi, one of the Good Noise Podcasts are here with Carmen McLean. We're going to ask him some questions today. I'm going to start, what inspired you to start making music? Um, so I started uh, making music when I was about uh, eight, uh, seven or eight oh, years wow. old. Um, so I actually started as a classical musician. Um, I started with violin. Hmm. Um, so I had violin lessons um, my whole life, actually. Um, I have a degree in classical violin, so that's actually where my kind of musical kind of expertise is, I guess. Um, and I started writing songs when I was quite young, maybe about eight or nine, um, for a band that I had at the time. Uh, oh like God. it was a band. <laughs> uh, we didn't actually play any instruments. It was very much kind of just um, turning up and just kind of writing whatever we wanted basically and um, so that was kind of my introduction to music so I've had actually quite um a, like a very kind of classical education um this whole kind of you know the pop scene and like the music scene um here in Leeds where I live is very kind of unknown to me like I go to a, I go to a lot of gigs mm. um but actually kind of breaking it here is really um I'm very out of my comfort zone um I that. so yeah yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, can you tell us a little bit about your writing process? Yeah. Um, so, in terms of writing, I usually kind of sit down, like just me and my guitar. Um, I don't tend to write songs like all the time. I write one maybe kind of every few weeks, which I guess for songwriters isn't very often. Um, and so the guitar is where I kind of get my melody ideas. I tend to write kind of melodies on guitar and let the the uh, melodies kind of um, come from the guitar. So the guitar kind of leads, um, I guess, in, in terms of like songwriting. Um, and then I usually like to bring kind of kind of fresh ideas, like with my violin. So kind of bring like nice like counter melodies maybe mm-hmm. um kind of add some kind of like lush kind of string sections and things like that but it it always starts kind of with just me and my guitar wow Sick. Yeah. Right. cool uh so for your new single slow down what jump started the writing process on that like what clicked for you um so uh i started writing slow down um about kind of two months ago so we were about a month into the lockdown in the UK. Um, so um, I'm not sure kind of where the US is in terms of lockdown, but about two months ago, we were, but it was like kind of the thick of the pandemic. We were really, really strictly locked down. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was kind of just getting to the point where we were starting to just get used to it. And actually um, I'd kind of started to kind of uh, like deal with the fact that I was missing my family. And actually kind of start to see more of the positives in it so all of a sudden I had all this time that I don't normally have um so I kind of thought well you know this is the time where we can slow down like we have the time to do things that we wouldn't normally do and so that's kind of where the inspiration from the song came from and that song almost wrote itself in a sense Hmm. um when I'm in the zone of songwriting I don't even kind of usually have to think deeply. It just kind of all comes out. And um, so it's very much like that. It came very, very naturally. Um, and then I started working with um, a promoter who kind of gave me loads and loads of really great information on how to get started, how to get it out there. And I thought, this is the perfect time um, to bring out this song because hopefully it can kind of resonate with a lot of people and give everyone like that sense of unity and we can all like slow down and take the time to do things that we don't usually do. Mm -hmm. So you said that that song was written like easily. It came to you easily. Do most of your songs write themselves because, you know, you take a longer time writing them or. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I think with, uh, with kind of me writing songs, not very often, I don't tend to write songs that I'm not invested in. Um, usually I have to be in a really specific kind of mood in a really specific time so Mm -hmm. I have to feel creative and usually actually that comes from um, listening to music like finding discovering new music and hearing new sounds I think wow like that's really cool I really want to try this new idea Mm -hmm. Um, and so um, yeah so whenever I kind of sit down and write a song 
it it just it almost feels like I'm not the one writing it because mm. it just it just kind of happens it's it's really kind of strange I, I can't really describe anything like it it's kind of like second nature to me especially in terms of like the lyric writing I think in terms of melodies sometimes there are times where I have to um look to other ideas you know how can I move on from this subject but in mm -hmm. terms of lyrics I just usually they just come straight straight away even though I do have to google rhymes sometimes yeah that that's fair kind of guilty <laughs> pleasure I'm like what rhymes with this or what rhymes that <laughs> um, but yeah generally they come very naturally to me wow cool. yeah sick so uh where was your headspace while you were writing it um so kind of as I mentioned before it was quite a difficult time um being in this like really locked down in in the flat where I am and um, with my partner so it was just it was a quite a difficult um kind of headspace to be in I think of getting used to kind of well this is what life is going to be like for quite mm -hmm. a long time um I think it's you know a lot of people have had to kind of come to terms with the fact that kind of actually life as we know it is very different now to what it has been our whole lives and um it's kind of like almost like a new way of living so yeah. um kind of writing slow down was me kind of coming to terms with that um mm -hmm. coming to terms with the fact that we can't just go anywhere and do anything we want anymore you know we have to wear a mask or we have to take precautions um and it's about like seeing the positives um through having all this time I mean I'm in a very lucky position that um I'm 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 not a key worker and I'm not working and so I'm I'm safe and I'm and I'm sheltered here um that's a very privileged position to be in mm. um you know and I, I have the time to kind of try these new things so I've been like I've been knitting I've been baking um probably like too much baking actually I've eaten so no much cake it's unbelievable <laughs> no <such laughs> um <laughs> but yeah that was kind of the headspace that I was in when I wrote slow down awesome so is slow down leading up to like a bigger project like an EP or an album um potentially it wasn't uh like written with the intention of releasing an EP Mm -hmm. uh, I'm currently working on um, another single, so I'm thinking kind of this next single could possibly be like a stepping stone to an EP or an album. I okay. would love to write a whole album um, or an EP. I think an EP is definitely sound more manageable, manageable to me right now because <laughs> um, the, the prospect of kind of writing and recording a whole album seems like kind of such a big kind of um, project to complete but yeah it's definitely my goal to release an EP within the next year Ooh, all right Very looking forward exciting. to that yeah <laughs> um so on this new single slow down uh what bands or artists influences do you hear on that track and did you like shoot for that or was it just did it just kind of happen naturally um so the kind of artists that um I like and listen to um really range I think I hear quite a lot of kind of uh, Billy Martin, who's like a British singer-songwriter, um, uh, kind of quite a lot of um, other soft pop artists like Andy Shaw or Big Thief. Um, I, I think I kind of hear quite a lot of those influences in there because that's what I like to listen to. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was writing, I didn't have uh, kind of like a, a goal or um, like a kind of... Uh, idea of how I wanted it to sound it very much kind of led very naturally so I, I, I wrote like the lyrics and the melody and I thought right I'm going to get this down so I recorded it um, and then I worked with my producer uh, remotely um, so you kind of just use like Zoom and video software to uh, communicate um, and it very much kind of came together I always don't know how it came together um, how it did because it just it was kind of a case of like what sounds good oh this sounds good let's do this let's do this so yeah. um no I was very much kind of building it up from scratch rather than like having like a focus and this is how I want it to sound wow sick all right so where do you see the project in the next five years um so this is so new to me and I think this is kind of like a um see what I can do kind of things so I'm not expecting it to be particularly kind of like successful or groundbreaking or anything like that I'm, I'm releasing it to 
um, hopefully kind of have it um, like reach people and have people think, oh yeah, this is really cool and this is relatable right now. Mm. And I understand what this song is about. Um, it would be great to have kind of a larger reach of people um but I'm I'm here to keep it real <laughs> and that might not happen so that's fine I'm really really lucky that um there have been so many wonderful people who have kind of been supporting me and friends who have been supporting me and podcasts and magazines and blogs who have been willing to actually kind of um like interview like a, a brand new artist or kind of you know hear what I have to say which is so new and, and foreign to me you know um <laughs> But yeah, the goal is really just to kind of reach people and have people listen to it and relate to it and think that this is cool. This is the kind of music that I want to listen to. Hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, so for the last couple of questions, we're going to shift away from music and we're going to go straight to death row. Boom. So if you're on death row, what would your last meal be? And please pick a drink. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to be so stereotypically British. It has to be fish and chips. That's Ooh. just it's like the best oh have you ever had fish and chips fish and chips is just like fried fish with french fries or potatoes yeah right? okay. yeah that's exactly I not, what it is i have not oh, i want to try God. it though it's so disgusting but it's so like, disgustingly <laughs> good <laughs> that's fair <laughs> i get that like, i understand that yeah. yeah um yeah it has to be fish and chips hands down i think for a drink hmm maybe like a mojito or Ooh. something like that something you know i'm if i'm gonna die in 10 minutes i might as well you know have a good time doing it exactly so, yeah exactly. maybe a nice cocktail yeah that's the way to go honestly yeah <laughs> so if you could live in one fictional world for a week where would you live hmm um i think it would have to be uh harry potter like the Ooh. world of harry potter mm-hmm. um i am i like i used to be such a harry potter fan girl when i was younger like i was so obsessed it's actually really embarrassing i hope no one finds like the photos of me like um getting my robes out <laughs> every God, you had the my robe. i had that's the so robe cool. <laughs> that's so cool wait what house are you in um i'm a hufflepuff Hufflepuff, hufflepuff gang Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Hell yeah. Um, so I have the honor of asking the last question, and everyone we've interviewed has said it's the most important question. What is your favorite color? Oh, it's got to be yellow. Like a true Ooh, that's book, different. yellow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, as, so as I said, that's all the questions we have for you today. Is there anything you would like to plug? Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, feel free to do that. Just search Carmen McLean. I may or may not come up. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you for sitting down with us and congrats on the single release. This mm-hmm. has been Carmen McLean and uh, We're the Good Noise Podcast.